Thank you very much, Sandy. We appreciate your kind words and the, and the lessons passed on. A little bit uh, about what's happening in New York. Um, as many of you know, on Thursday morning, we filed a civil rights, federal civil rights lawsuit against the city of New York, the state of the state attorney general, and DA Vance. The lawsuit challenges their misinterpretation of their switchblade and gravity knife law as applying to common folding knives, one hand openers, assisted openers, the 80% of the knives that are sold to people today. It's been, if, if you will recall, it was a year ago here at Blade Show when we all got the news that Cyrus Vance was doing this, that he was essentially legally sticking up retailers, demanding profits, and gaining almost $2 million in payments in order for them to avoid prosecution. And then he started, then the, then the police department, New York Police Department, started arresting people on the street, something they had done before, but not with such intensity. And literally hundreds of private citizens simply going about their work day or play were discovering that they had, were committing, according to the DA, a class four misdemeanor with up to a year's jail and penalty. And they were literally hauled off to jail, booked the whole bit. And for many of these folks, it was going to take hiring an attorney to the tune in New York of $5,000 if you found someone cheap, $10,000 if you found someone good, just to get the charge eventually dismissed, which is how almost all of these charges ended up being taken care of. They were just interested in terrorizing honest citizens and essentially intimidating people into not carrying any kind of knife because it was very clear that it really didn't matter what knife you had in your pocket you were going to get arrested we spoke to one gentleman who was carrying a fountain pen in his pocket cop stopped him sir is that a knife no it's a fountain pen pulls it out and shows it to him do you have a knife well yes I have a little knife in my pocket off you go to jail Okay, this is clearly a civil rights violation. Um, it's taken us a year to raise the quarter million dollars that we've gotten, mostly from industry, from many of the people in this room, to get the right plaintiffs, to put together the lawsuit, to find our attorney, David Jensen, who's here. David, stand up. David is our lead attorney in New York. But we are doing it. This is a line drawn in the sand. We cannot let Vance succeed because if he succeeds, it's only a matter of time before, before people follow in his footsteps because there is so much money at stake. They don't care about knives. They don't care about anything but votes and money. And if this sort of thing can be made to appeal to their constituents, and they can gain a couple million or two, three million dollars in payments from retailers, that's all they're interested in. And what happens if this occurs in another city or two? At a certain point, the Home Depots of the world, the Eastern Mountain Sports, Lowe's and others are going to say, we don't need this trouble. We don't sell enough knives for it to be worth doing this. And what happens when all the major retailers quit selling knives? It's not good for the industry. It's not good for America. It's not good for knife owners. This is the first step in the lawsuit, getting it filed. We've got two individual plaintiffs both of who have good stories, 
and knife rights. We are still hoping to gain another couple plaintiffs, including hopefully a manufacturer or two. We've got about a week or two to do that. And then everything begins in earnest. Motions, preliminary injunction requests, all that kind of stuff. This is not going to get done tomorrow. This fight could last, if it goes to the Supreme Court, it could last years. Okay? And we are prepared to go that far if it comes to it. That's why we put together this war chest. This is not going to be the end of the battle. There will be others. The war chest is going to have to grow because there will be other opportunities where politicians are going to try to take away our rights. And knife rights will be there to fight with your support. It's really that simple. We can only do what we can do with the support that you give us. We sure as heck try to do a lot with every penny but it does take a pile of pennies to make it happen. I'd hope to make a couple other announcements of some stuff that we've been working on um, this morning, but it turns out that getting politicians, lawyers, courts, and others to work to your timetable <clears throat> is not always possible. Um, but you can expect to hear some very interesting and exciting news from Knife Rights in the coming weeks and months as some of our other efforts that we're working on come to fruition. We do have a plan. It has taken over 50 years since the first federal, since the first state and federal switchblade and gravity knife laws were passed to get us to the point that we are today. We will not turn it around overnight, but we will turn it around. With your support, we will get our knife rights back. Thanks very much.